Okay, guys. Hold on. I'm back. William, back with another video. Okay, so you guys might have noticed, but I'm using a different lens right now. And I don't know if you guys can see, but that's my EXO post on my sister baby. But this video is not about K-pop. This video is about the new pictures on my Instagram. Uh, um, I My photography school is slowly getting better because now I have more free time since, you know, the new school I go to and stuff. So I'm just going to go on my Instagram right now so you guys can see what it looks like. And it doesn't really match my feed, but recently my pictures got a little better, like, um, in terms of analytics and, like, likes and stuff. But basically... Um, try not to care about likes when you're a photography account, try not to care about followers, just do what, do what you like and take pictures that, uh, that you like. So these pictures, you guys probably think that I use Lightroom or something, but I didn't. I'm just gonna show you guys how I got them to look like this. You want to take pictures with a lens that is good in low light because I took this picture when it's around, it's kind of like around 5 to 6 o'clock the time span and it's going to be low light and if you use a regular lens which i'm using right now which is the 18 to 135 millimeter lens from canon this lens i'm using right now the aperture only goes up to a four so i recommend you guys not to use this lens um so the lens i'm using on here is the Fifth the for the face pictures is the 50 millimeter f 1.8 lens. So the aperture is the f stop 8, which gives it brings in a lot of light. It's a lot of light, and so it's good for the time span that I took these pictures in, which is like the sunset time. So I'm just gonna let you guys see some of the pictures, and I'm gonna let you guys see the original. So this is the original, and this is the after. I'm just gonna show you guys it for this picture. So um, I'm gonna go back to the. We've already back to original. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So this is the default iOS photo app. So that's what I'm using. And already you guys can see how much the filters I used was the vivid, vivid warm, or vivid cool. So I don't really touch the other pictures. If you the dramatic ones look pretty natural if you're going for that kind of like tumbler or aesthetic vibe. But right now we're just going for that very like Brandon Wolfel kind of vibe. Um, you, it depends on what you are looking for in the editing, and just a adding one filter really changes if you guys look at the before and after. So I chose the vivid warm, the one to post on my Instagram because it looked more natural to me. Like this one looked more like aesthetic, but I really like this one because it looked more natural with the colors. And this one had a little pink, which this guy didn't have, so. If you guys like this one, just do the vivid one, and it looks the best for like most of the pictures. So you guys can just add it. It's kind of like a preset, but that's kind of what the picture is. If you don't have Adobe Lightroom like, Photoshop, but basically, um, that's basically all you can do. But I'm just gonna. I don't really like how it is right now, so I'm just going to lift the colors a little. As you guys can see, it makes it a little brighter. Um, and I also want to like remove the. Um, contrast a little because I think it's a little too high and then that's basically uh, the back points don't want to make it faded and you don't want it to be too like that I'm just gonna leave it like that and for the saturation if you want to put turn it up and go crazy um, so this is I'm just gonna turn it up a little and that's basically it and people should ask you how you took this picture you can tell them see the photos turned out pretty good like if you want if you had Lightroom you could probably turn this very Cool, but um, I really like the vivid warm because it brings in the colors a lot more. So for this one, I would definitely use vivid warm, and it's just a filter. So just imagine what you guys can do, and just use your man imagination. And I really like this one because it kind of reminds me of like a wintry, snowy vibe, but like in like Canada or something. That's basically it for the tutorial um, on Instagram pictures. And if you guys like my pictures. Don't forget to go check them out and like them, and that basically shows me that you guys support my pictures and you guys like them, and I'll continue doing this, and I hope you guys can help me grow my photography account since I'm just starting. It's been like a few, like a little over half a, half a year, and I hope you guys like my videos too, and don't forget to subscribe if you guys want more tutorials.